this video and welcome to my personal review of the Librem key, the security key by Purism. The Librem key is the security solution to all your problems in terms of being sure that your computer, your device, wasn't modified by anyone else but you. This little thing allows you to store a signature in it that matches bit by bit the signature that you have in your computer thanks to the HEADS firmware developed by Purism. The HEADS firmware is an open source firmware that you can install in your computer's ROM and it enables cryptographically signing the lowest levels of your system and protecting users against third-party modification. So this is all puppies and rainbows and these are all big words that make no sense for me. So let me show you in simple terms the way that I understood what it does and why it's perfect for security. We all know that our devices are not secure at all. It doesn't matter if it's a computer, it's a laptop, it's a desktop, it's a phone. Everything can be accessed remotely by user, by a hacker, by a third-party application. It doesn't matter how many softwares or security passwords, double encryptions we use, everything can be accessed sooner or later. Everything is not secure. So how do we really protect ourselves with the Librem key. Every time you boot up your laptop, in this case I'm using the Librem 13 by Purism, the core boots, the HEADS firmware loads, and boom, you get the initial screen which will immediately tell you if something is wrong. You have three potential scenarios in this situation. If you don't plug in your Librem key, the screen will be yellow, meaning no key has been detected and the system can tell you if your BIOS or any other parts of your software will alter. If the screen turns red and all also the little LED on your key blinks red, it means that something is wrong and specifically something changed in your computer since the last time you booted it. And the last scenario is of course the perfect scenario. You plug your Librem key in, the screen is gray and the LED blinks green. It means that your system, your BIOS or all the things that you signed in in weren't tampered with and nothing has changed since the last time you booted. It doesn't matter which scenario you encounter in the three that are listed, you can always boot into your operating system and use your computer. This is an important aspect of the Librem key. It doesn't matter what happens, your computer will never be a brick. You can always use your computer. After you boot into your OS, you can unplug the Librem key and use it as a regular laptop. It doesn't matter, you don't have to keep it plugged in all the time. Whenever you change something in your computer, like you update your BIOS, you update a firmware, you update a software, you can sign again the key just to be sure that it matches the signature between your computer and what's inside the key. By default, the Librem key signs only the boot partition of your operating system and keeps track only of that specific section. But of course, you have the ability to sign pretty much the entire operating system, all your files, all your softwares, and be sure that not even a single bit has changed since the last time you booted. There are of course many other solutions to these like sort of security problem. There are softwares or different type of hardwares, you can have two-factor authentication, so all these kind of things. But these things are fortunately are always on the top level they never go deeper and uh, it doesn't matter what you do to protect yourself, there's always something that could go a level lower and access all your data or tamper with your system. But with the Librem key and the HEADS firmware, this cannot happen. Purism was sure to go at the deepest level possible at the core boot of your system and check every single bit of your device. There's no level lower to go, this is the lowest level of security you could wish for. You can also use the Librem key to store your GPG encryption and sign-in options to be able to use it in all your devices. Or also use it as one-time password device or to facilitate that two-factor authentication shenanigans that we all hate. There are many other use cases that Purism is considering to add to the Librem key, like for example when you plug it in automatically you log into your operating system if it's locked, or when you unplug it automatically the system can go to sleep or can shut down or can freeze. It doesn't matter, you can potentially control this thing, but these are something that will come in the future if the users will like it, of course. The technical aspects and the possibilities of the Librem key are, of course, kind of endless. You can do a lot of things, but the core objective of the Librem key is to give you back the control of your computer and to be sure that your security is in the first place. As the people at Purism like to say, the Librem key is the key to your computer, like the car keys are the keys to your car. I'd like to thank Purism for the opportunity of reviewing these amazing 
amazing product, their laptops, their heads firmware, alongside the Librem Key, an incredible, flexible and powerful approach to produce an ethical and freedom-based hardware. Well, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and I talk to you in the next one.